It's about to get crazy. I think it's not already crazy enough, but uh, it is March the 11th, 12th. I don't have to look that up. I should know that. I will when I make my notes. And I'm headed over to the farm. We're going to be putting on some honey supers on at least two of the hives, maybe three. And I'm looking for drones. Uh, as far as the honey supers, I look back at my records and um, three and a half weeks earlier than I've ever put honey supers on. It's just insane what's going on. But pretty excited about that because that might give me a little jump start on honey I need for the markets in May. If I see drones, if I see enough drones, I may be putting my double screen boards on as well. I can talk about that while we're out there, if that happens. Um, but have to have drones because drones help queens make babies. And if you don't have drones, queens can't make babies. Um, so we're headed over there. We're gonna see what happens. See you at the farm. Well, welcome to the farm part two. Of course I got out here and realized I'd forgotten all the bottom boards so I had to run back to the house to get those because of course everything I need will probably not be where it needs to be. So the objective here is that we're going to see where we're at, where we're going, what we need to do. I'm going to, I think, put supers on at least a couple of these hives. So you can see these guys are these guys are all busy. I'm gonna change that mouse guard out of that. We don't need that on there anymore. But these two hives are just going gangbusters. So I'm gonna help them out a little bit. We're gonna see what we can do. Hopefully we're gonna get a jump start in this honey this year. So I'm probably going to leave this upper um, insulation I have in this box because I think it's going to help a little bit, especially if we get cold. But I don't need to leave the insulation. We're just not going to get that cold over the next couple of weeks. At least that's the forecast. Let's hope for the best because it's not the bees I worry about. It's the forage. As you can see, the woods are starting to come alive, but that's honeysuckle. It's good for nothing. Bees don't like it. All it's good for is creating havoc in the woods. Basically, it kills the woods. These are gonna go back on, put that over here, and take the insulation off, and I may be leaving, in fact, I think I am going to leave the insulation off for now if I need it. Put it back on but i also am going to need to wrestle these candy boards off so take the quilt box off first because i know i have tons and tons of bees probably sitting on the bottom of the quilt board but if i can smoke them down a little bit it might make it a little easier on me and the bees That's a lot more smoke than I normally use. Sorry girls, but I'm gonna see if I can get as many of you off the bottom as possible. Get you to crawl in. So hopefully you'll do the march. If I do this and get them even, see they're starting to march in now. So hopefully by the time I'm done today here, they will have all marched off of that. Although I think I may put the quilt board back on top we'll see so they have eaten most of the candy board which is a good thing very few bees on this i'm going to give them the chance to get off as well and if i'm counting right and this is exactly what you want to count i've got one two three four five six seven eight actually probably closer to nine frames of bees this is just outstanding I mean, absolutely outstanding but i love the way they they poke their heads up after you've smoked they're like what is going on here i'm going to wrestle this box off and take a look and see if i can determine that i've got any drones i see drone comb in here hopefully i can get some drone comb, drones 
going because boy I'd like to really get these guys going on doing a split before they're too out of control. Why is that sizzling? So here we go, let's lift and see what's going on here. If this is all brewed, it shouldn't be too, too heavy for me. Probably about 35, 40 pounds. Oh, damn it. Well, yeah, there's drones and I just killed about six of them, but that's okay. I do want to look, look really close. And what I don't see on these drones is any varroa mite, which is very, very important. Um, if I did have varroa mite, they'd be on these, but these guys are a long way from being born. But she makes drones all year long. So let's take a peek and see what's going on down here. Just drive them down a little bit more so I can get this. I just want to get the drone comb off. That's way more than I ever like to smoke. I'm just saying, but I want to get this out of here while I can. It's kind of interesting because they were basically sucking up the uh, proteins from the drone. So this is all drone comb. Can you see that on the top? It's got the, it's just larger comb. So I'm gonna see if I can pull a couple of these frames out, see what we got going on. This hive is packed, absolutely packed. But space, that's what's important. Honey, open space, some drone comb. Yeah, these guys are... Basically, I know the queen is up top. Where are my drones? Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, that's good to see. Right there in the end, that's a drone bigger lumbering but that's what I want to see I'd like to see a lot more before I start doing splits but we're gonna probably have to give it a week I am still gonna put a super on this hive just to get them thinking about it possibly a little bit more space too far into this okay she's laying up here then that's good drone comb yeah, I'm seeing a few more drones in here. That's that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. And I think I've got I thought I had eggs and larvae in there, but I don't. I suspect the queen's up top. I'm gonna go one more and put this back together. Lots of drones. Lots and lots and lots of drones. Okay, that's good to see. Pull this all back together. Are we getting too irritated? Didn't really want to do it that way, but that's the way it worked. This is working against me. Let's get rid of this burk home while we can. That is a heavy brood chamber. For now, we're just going to cap you guys back. Everybody calm down for a second. We'll do a little walk away for a minute. Let's just take a peek up top here real quick and see what we can see. I'm hoping to see a lot of brood. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Let's 
get you guys to calm back down a little bit. Here we go. That's a lot of honey. And I suspect we're going to start getting into brood here real quick. Drones, that's what I want to see. Okay, so here we're getting into the brood chamber. Let's get those out of the way so I can get this thing out of here. It could be the beginning of a swarm cell. That's a little disconcerting. To swarm this early would be bad for me, bad for the bees. We will see, I think we need to find a frame I can use to split this hive today. all brood. Oh shit. Okay, that's the worst thing I could have ever done. Let's just hope the queen's not on that. Jesus. Okay, we're going to put these guys back together. That's what you don't want to do. Okay, shit happens. Because this was not there. This was here. You want to put the frames back exactly the way they came out in the brood chamber. Just making sure that none of these piles of bees down here have a queen in the middle of it. Nope, they're okay. Okay, I need a frame with brood on it. I'm gonna go here. I can find eggs. I'm going to split this hive today and put a honey super on it. Hopefully without dropping another frame. This is what I want. So I'm going to put this up against here. These guys are going to go back here. This is when all hell havoc breaks loose, but that's okay. Let's calm everybody down. Talk just for a second about double screen boards. So I'm going to put on a double screen board on this hive. Which means I'm gonna pull this off, get these guys out of here, because if I grab them, that'll hurt me and them. I'm going to put this guy back on the bottom. Okay? Because 90 plus percent of the time, the queen is up in that top box, which is what it really looked like. So, 
I'm gonna put them back. Get this straightened out a little bit more. There we go. Up a little. Okay. I'm gonna take a frame out of here that I did before that had very little on it. And again, don't drop it, Dave. Put that in here to fill that space. I'm actually going to move these up a little bit to put this frame in the middle. This frame has eggs and brood. Let's get in. Yeah, I don't want to crush any bees. I'm them. Putting on a clean excluder. So you put the honey super on here. That way, hopefully, you can be able to fill that up. Now I put my double screen board on, and I want the entrance to the back. So entrance to the back. Then I put this box back on. They will soon think they don't have a queen because they're separated. Then I'm going to put my cover on. I am going to put back on top. And voila, there you have it. So I know it's been loud with the bees all over the microphone. I apologize for that. Can't seem to get them off. But anyways, that shows you what I'm going to do. So I'm basically going to do the same thing right down the line for the next three hives. If they need honey or supers or whatever, I'll put it on. Otherwise, I'm sure you can barely hear me through the microphone, through the buzzing of the bees. So we let them calm down. Well, welcome to the bourbon summary. I'm going to go through what happened after I turned off the camera over at the farm. First, I could use a little sip. Buffalo Trace. Now, if they would sponsor me, then we're talking. So here's what happened. You saw what happened in the first hive. At least I hope you saw most of that. I think I might have had a little camera error there. But I uh, uh, went through the other three hives. Um, the hive you saw was hive one. Hive two looked great. Um, they were doing fine. I was very pleased with the, the uh, amount of brood pattern I was seeing, although a little bit light. Um, I did put the double screen board on them because I was able to find quite a bit of um, one day um, old brood and next to it, although I, my eyes just aren't good enough, but I know where to look to think that it's what it is and it looked like eggs which is what I need. So I put a double screen on that. Hive three, same thing, only uh, best brood pattern of the four hives. So that is a very, very strong hive. And uh, did not put a honey super on them, although I thought I wanted to. There just didn't seem like there were enough bees quite yet. I mean, there's a lot, but not enough. But there's so many that will come out in the next probably week to 10 days, which will give the bees that are in there um, enough time to mature to be the foragers that I need. Then it brings us to high four. I'm going to have another sip of bourbon before I tell you about high four. I have never, in the 10 years I've been keeping bees, been lit up like high four lit me up today. I've never been pinged as much. I've never been just flat out and I was working the hive fine. I was calm. Everything was what it needed to be. They were just pissy. Flip side, they're also the strongest of the four hives. Naturally, I was able to find the right amount of brood, the right brood, the right egg pattern, and was able to then create the double screen board. So that, I have a feeling, will be very successful with that hive. And I wanted to put a honey super on it, but I know when enough is enough. And enough was enough. They were riled beyond anything I had really ever seen in a hive. So it's getting a little more breezy. Sorry about that. Just a follow up. So, you know, as we go along through the year, you can 
kind of get an idea of, uh, you know, this is the base of these hives right now. And hopefully, you know, we can you know, keep them going, keep them productive, and uh, we'll see what it gives us. So, here's to you.